just few lines about me. Um, working with different, uh, many different free software communities. I'm currently working as Fedora Cloud Engineer in Red Hat. Other than this, I'm a code developer at the C Python. That's the Python language uh, many of you may be using right now. I'm also a director at Python Software Foundation. So, my talk is actually not that technical, but I'm going to talk about a few things which I'm very much excited about. So, people from Singapore, um, uh, how many are here still now who live in Singapore? So, for you, this may not be that exciting thing, but uh, the place where I am from in India, it's the last few years in my life, it's very much exciting. Like, uh, I came out of college back in 2005, and during my college days, uh, around 2000 students, we had our 256 kbps dial up connection for all the students together. So, you can imagine the pain. And in that, from that condition, right now in 2015, even my village has at least a one Mbps connection, which is still far better. And I'm so happy that people can actually use this technology, which is called internet, and connect to each other. I'm going to give one small example how that helps. So, next small picture. Uh, many of you uh, already know about this project, OLPC, and we have one here in this room. So, uh, I worked on the OLPC's audio video software that is called Jukebox, the application using which you can, it's just like VLC media player, it's the media player for OLPC. So, uh, and we used to stay up on IRC on the OLPC Sugar channels, and suddenly one night I found there are so many guest nicknames if you use IRCs like people uh, coming up and suddenly started asking me that Jukebox is not working in their OLPC and like I can't play my song or I can't play this video can you help us or uncle can you help us <laughs> I'm like okay so where are you from uh, I'm from Latin America and my our teacher just today showed us how can we connect to internet and ask the guy who actually wrote this thing so we are asking you can you please help us? And it's like my time. I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> and and you, we all know how many LPCs are out there. And from that time, I'm like, okay, maybe I can send this maintainer thing to someone else. <laughs> this is a good time. So uh, it just works in the same way for my country in India. We never had that good connectivity, and we're still not in that level. But internet is something which is enabling us to connect to each other and learn and share the knowledge. Uh, just going back to the time for a few people. Uh, how, I don't know how many of you can identify this thing. Can you raise them? Okay, few people, correct. What is it? Anyone? Saudo? 64, correct? The 8 bit computers. So I came into computer and technologies because I saw one of these things in one of my relatives house and I used to get a chance of like using it for two or three hours in every year. So I had to wait like whole year to go back there in the big city so that I can use it again. And that was a big thing. Like I could press a button and one character is there on the screen. So it was a big thing for me. Uh, but it was not so easily available. But coming from those days and now where we have another small baby like this. And many of you already have this at your home, Raspberry Pi, correct? So it's cheap, it's, it's for many ways it's perfect for learning programming, doing things. <coughs> and uh, I used Adreno also a lot, but the thing I, which I like a lot about at Raspberry Pi is the way you can actually use it and start doing things or seeing things very fast. You know, it's, it's easy to turn on one LED if you know which thing to connect where. But if you can do that using some code, and for my example, because I'm a lazy programmer, I use Python everywhere. So uh, when I can do the same thing using Python from a small computer, it's a big thing. It still excites me in the same way when I was a kid. And I can do those things. So, so my initial idea was to do a couple of simple code demos. So I'm running actually one Raspberry Pi there uh, in that corner with a couple of sensors. 
So sensors like this, uh, this is a project called Group Pi. So it contains a simple board and you can connect different kind of sensors, including a uh, grid analyzer, if you want. And here I'm just measuring the temperature. To give you an example of how or why this is exciting. Okay, temperature may be one thing, but me, uh, I mean, we had our first child born a couple of months back, four months back. So me and my wife, we are trying to figure out how to find out if the baby is actually urinating on time or not. And we found it very easy to get a water measuring sensor, connect it to Raspberry Pi, and write like, again, like three lines of Python code and figure out if, if it starts beeping, that means she actually urinated. Uh, practical problems, correct? Solving related things. For many students, we keep hearing about how to uh, take pictures, how to use a USB uh, webcam or things like that. But again, coming down that same simple application or, and the hardware, this is the amount of code you need to start taking pictures from a Raspberry Pi. Use case, there are too many. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, using some other friend's code, I'm trying to build a small digital camera of my own. And uh, I, I'm also making, which is almost ready, is actually a baby monitoring system, which I'm going to use it in the other room. But like this same code, if I put it inside a loop, I can have something like this. Oh, so <coughs> I'm missing. So it, it's just the camera and the Raspberry Pi which is connected in that corner. And it's clicking pictures in every 10 to 12 seconds. And I'm just refreshing the page so that we can keep getting the latest pictures. And hopefully I'll be able to share a couple of these pictures at the end of the conference. Because right now we are not in internet and the laptop is connected to the Raspberry Pi. So yeah, hopefully it's refreshing on time to time. And you've seen something? Yeah. Yeah. But going forward in the same line, uh, my idea is not about talking about one particular hardware or one particular software, but it's more about the time where we are living and how to utilize that knowledge and the time, the features which are available to us. Going back another project, uh, this is something very new, I just came to know about, not this one, but another one related to this, uh, two, three nights back. Uh, again, which computer is this? Anyone? BBC Micro, correct? So, um, I think on 12th, I found that BBC again, announced something called BBC Micro Bridge. It's a new computer they are making for the kids to learn about programming. It's, it will not be running a complete operating system because this is something on embedded. It, it got a, at least this demo unit has a 5 into 5 LED uh, thing which you can use. So the basic idea is to go back to the point where you can actually write some code and see the real time feedback. You can turn on those LEDs, you can show some characters, you can stream some text on it. And this thing is, uh, they are making I think 1 million units and they are not going to sell them, they are just going to give it away to all other UK students. And as I heard, maybe they will not make it again. I mean, I don't know. but. This is really exciting. I'm waiting if I can actually catch hold of one of these, uh, which I think will not be that so easy. But think like this, using these devices, the new generation which is coming up, they can actually start having fun. More than solving problems which we think problems, this is much more to actually have fun and learn programming and learn solving real life problems. So I just want to say that there are things available right now in the industry or in open source technologies. So please try to have a look at them. Please try to show it to your son, daughter, friends, everyone else, and tell them that they can also use them. Nothing more to add directly. I think that's my Twitter handle, my blog. If you have any questions related to Python, PSF, or any of the technologies which I just showed, demo, anything. No question, that is also very much okay. Yeah. Which uh,
put on a bail bond. Yeah, uh, so uh, not yet, so because uh, the code is in one HD card, because you can actually rewrite the whole code in one day. So I'm going to do that as soon as I go back. So yeah. And most probably it should be on the MIT license, so feel free to whatever you want to use. Anything else? Maybe next speaker. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.